Not all party ribs are created equal. Once you try this teriyaki version, you may not go back to barbecue sauce. Best part, you can do them in the oven, you just won't get that smoky flavor. First, you got to remove the membrane from the backs of your ribs. Then I like to cut them into individual portions. Since these are going to be teriyaki, I'm using an Asian-inspired rub, Jody's Asian Persuasion from Rectech. If you can't find that, you can just use some plain OSPG. I have the Rectech Flagship 1100 going at 250 degrees. Let these go for around 90 minutes until they hit 165 to 170 internal. While they're going, we'll make our teriyaki sauce. I have some soy sauce, some brown sugar, some honey, adding a little mirin, some white rice vinegar. It's going to let that go on low heat until all that sugar is dissolved. And yes, I'm cheating here, but we're going to add some minced ginger as well as some minced garlic. Let that come to just a low simmer, and then we're going to add a little bit of cornstarch to thicken it up. Remove it from the heat and let that sit. After about 90 minutes, the ribs have a great color to them. We're going to put them into an aluminum pan, add that sauce, hit them with even more brown sugar and some honey, then add a few pats of butter. You can get the full recipe on my website, cookerofdeliciousness.com. Cover them back on until they hit about 205 internal. Give these a shot and tell me they are not amazing.